some onions and some garlic to uh, mix in with the ground turkey that we're about to cook up. I actually saw a video of this online, so maybe if you haven't seen it now, you will. But I put my whole garlic in there because you know how annoying it can be to peel a garlic. And then I just shake that. I shake it up. It's gonna take a minute. All right, so you do that, and then so it kind of just breaks it up. And then you don't really have to do a lot of the peeling. You still have to peel a little bit, but you know, the, the brunt of the work gets done just by shaking it up in there. Some of them, some of them will actually get just peeled already. You see, this one's like good to go. Some of them need a little more work, but I'm lazy, so I just try to get all the hard stuff out of the way if I can. Still got a big piece here, but you know, it did, it did something for me. So we're gonna use these garlic cloves here. Gonna dice them up real nice, along with the onions, and then we're gonna mix it in with the ground turkey pieces. I actually got this recipe from an ex-girlfriend, so you know, if you hate your ex-girlfriend, just try to look at the positives of that, you know? Maybe you don't like each other anymore, maybe you guys don't talk anymore. Maybe when you do talk, it's, it's very, you know, not a good situation, but hey, try, try to see what you got out of it. You know, I got some good food recipes, she was a great cook. Now, I, I didn't even use them while we were together, but I use them now, and I hope she's watching. I'd like to say thank you, although she's probably not. using some ground turkey here you can use ground beef if you'd like uh, I mean I think it tastes better obviously ground beef does but ground turkey is gonna be more lean less fat and obviously it's from Trader Joe's because that's the only place that I shop these are oregano leaves I don't know I'm they just, I just have them in my house so I'm gonna just throw some in there I don't know what it really does for the flavor uh, but really what I usually use is some pepper or I sift this pepper onto there. You have two options, you can pour or sift. I'm gonna sift. Get some peppers on there. Got the ground cumin. Very important, especially for turkey. I've never had turkey without some cumin. Gives it a nice little flavor. salt pour it into my hand first because don't want to mess that up just sprinkle it on there Want to make it into one nice big patty, and then when I, I'll cook it, I'll flip the patty maybe once or twice, and then once there's some nice brown on the outside, then I start chopping it up, and I'll uh, you know stir it up, chop it up until it gets nice and nice and brown like you want it for some good uh, turkey tacos. You guys are experienced cooks. And you know that if you put olive oil too high, it will just burn and stick to the pan. And uh, I learned that the hard way about a month ago. So now I'm making sure that I keep it on low. It's gonna take a little longer to cook everything, but at the end of the day, I think it's worth it. You take out a flour tortilla here and we'll lay it down. I mean, some people might, you know, heat it up or a little whatever. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I've actually got some mixed baby kale. Uh, 
I'm gonna throw some of that in there just so I could say I got some greens in. Yeah, my, my dog doesn't like greens and I'm not a huge fan either, but you know. We got this great Colby Jack cheese. Look at how thick this slice is. I'm gonna break it up into a couple separate pieces. My dog is smelling the amazingness that is the Colby Jack. I'm just gonna read off the ingredients here. So it's got a, quite a bit of sodium and cholesterol, but uh, there's seven grams of protein in one slice of this cheese. 20% of your calcium. Just check it out for yourself. It's uh, some nice cheese there. I'm a fan, if you haven't noticed. So this is our turkey looking nice and brown. Nice fat taco there. I mean, it's not like your Taco Bell taco. You don't need four or five of these. You just need maybe like two or three. And uh, that's the finished product. Take a bite. Very good. Like I said before, I'm not a chef, I'm not a cook. This is just something basic that I can make pretty easily because, you know, I don't, I don't cook and I never really learned the right ways to cook. But, you know, the ingredients are pretty simple and it tastes pretty good and it's relatively healthy. So uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think and let me know if you try it yourself. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh,